Before we start adding logic to activities, I want to take a few minutes to discuss project layouts. As we've discussed before, there's three sections to the P6 window. There's the table area, bar chart area, and the details area, or bottom layout. In the table area, or the spreadsheet area, we can customize columns to get the view that we want. To customize these columns, I select the Columns button, or View, Columns. My Columns window opens, and I can select the columns that I want to display. You can see the columns that are displaying now match these descriptions in the Selected Options window. I want to clean this up. I really don't need remaining duration, so I'll move that out. My schedule complete, I'll move out so that I have my ID, activity name, original duration, start, finish, and total float. Select Apply, and when you look at the top, you'll see that the columns have adjusted to the ones that I've selected. My description may be a little long for original duration. I can edit descriptions under Edit Column. I'll shorten this description to allow me to make my column narrower. Select OK, and I can shorten my columns, widen my description columns, shorten my activity IDs. That's how your columns can be managed. That's the basics on columns. We'll come back to these when we do layouts later for reporting. Now let's look at the bar chart area. As a quick overview, I can zoom out or zoom in by putting my mouse over the lowest row in the timescale area. You can see the magnifying glass allows me to zoom in and zoom out. I can slide this back and forth by putting my mouse over the top row. Before we start adding logic, I want to get rid of some of these summary bars that clutter the screen. I'm going to go to View, Bars. Once again, that's the same icon as this one right here and I'm going to turn my summary bars off. I scroll down on my bars window till I get to the summary bar and just uncheck it. Hit apply, OK. Look how it cleaned up my bar chart area. Now I can save this layout by going view, layout, save layout as, I'll call this my detail bar chart. When I go to save my layout, I can save a layout all users, another user, current user, and project. How that works, if I save it as a current user, that's for me, that means any project that I open, this layout will be available in that project. If it's a specific layout for just this project that I wouldn't use in other projects, I would save it as a project layout. For right now, I'm going to save it as current user. This layout will be available for me on any project that I open. We'll address layouts a lot more as we continue the training, but for right now I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to layouts. To open a layout, I go View, Layout, Open, and you can see my detailed bar chart layout that we just created. All I'd have to do is select it and open it, and the view will come up just as I saved it.